In his nine games started, Tua Tungavailoa had two with fourth-quarter comebacks and both had game-winning drives. The teams played were the Arizona Cardinals and the New England Patriots during Week 9 and Week 15. The Cards game was won 34-31, Tua was 20 of 28 completions for 248 yards and two touchdowns. The crunch time scoring was done with Mac Hollins on an 11-yard pass to tie the game in a Jason Sanders 50-yard field goal to put it ahead. Other scoring production came by Shaq Lawson, with a 36-yard fumble return that he also forced out in another Jason Sanders field goal, this one a whopping 56 yards, former running back Jordan Howard ran one in from two yards out, and Preston Williams with a nine-yard passing score. Jordan Howard found his way back to the Philadelphia Eagles and Shaq Lawson was traded to the Texans for Benardrick McKinney. The Pats game was won 22-12, Tua was 20 of 26 completions for 145 yards, no passing touchdowns, and one interception. The crunch time scoring was done by Tua running one TD in from three yards out to go ahead at the start of the fourth, and Tua again running in for a yard late in the fourth to seal the game. Another scoring production was done by running back Salvan Ahmed who had a one-yard rushing TD and also had a reception for a two-point conversion that capped off Tua's running TD to open the fourth quarter. The New England Patriots have loaded up on new players and it might be hard to repeat this late-season win. The top five receivers, according to Infante, are Devontae Parker, Mike Jasicki, Jakeem Grant, Lynn Bowden Jr., and Durham Smythe. You may have noticed one missing. Preston Williams. This is because after the Cards game he would go on injured reserve. He played well that game having the longest reception of 35 yards. Because of his absence, everyone gets moved down a notch. So in effect, Tua has this stat also having to use lower string players. Just like the Pats mentioned above, the Miami Dolphins also have loaded up with more players, Jalen Waddell and Will Fuller, most notably. This might just be an interesting tidbit because, to be honest, I don't put much homage into this particular stat. There were others that swore by it and knocked the last QB over it, who is now on the Titans. Rich Ryber of Sharp Football is also responsible as a source for these statistics.